name is Dorita, and I work for the Live Oak Public Library. Today we're going to be doing a recipe for the July theme for the month is red, white, and blue food. And I've chosen red, white, and blue brownie pizza for the recipe. The ingredients that you'll need for this recipe are um, one box of brownie mix. I used the Betty Crocker Supreme Original. Um, that can be your choice of whichever you'd like, but the bigger box of brownies because they do have smaller ones. And make sure you get the larger size. Um, a quarter of a cup of water, a third of a cup of vegetable oil, and one egg. You'll uh, preheat the oven to 350 and prepare a pizza pan or a large cookie sheet with parchment paper and you add all the mixture together. You add the brownie ingredients and mix until everything is well blended. You spread the brownie mix over the parchment paper in to form a circle about 14 inches in diameter. Um, I went ahead and baked the brownie at home because we don't have an oven big enough for this. But as you'll see, I had a little problem getting the brownie uh, as big as 14 inches. It was I spread it as far as it would go in a circle, and this was the end result. The next set of ingredients are for the uh, toppings that go on the, the brownie. It's eight ounces of cream cheese at room temperature, a quarter of a cup of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then you'll need a cup of fresh blueberries, um, washed and drained, and three cups of strawberries sliced. So in your mixer, you add the cream cheese and the sugar and the vanilla extract, and you'll mix until well blended. So I'm going to um, add the sugar in, and we're going to start the mixing process. And we'll want to blend this until it's fluffy. Stop that for a second and add the um, vanilla extract. Which is one teaspoon. Or a little more if you'd like. I never measure. There we go. want this to be fluffy enough that it will um, smooth on the top of the brownie easily. All right, I think we're good here. Slow this down. And that's what the cream cheese mixture looks like. And then I'm going to just dollop that around on the top of the brownie. We can spread it. We don't want to bear down too much when smoothing the uh, cream cheese mixture around. It will pull the top off the brownie like I just did. Close to the edge. You don't have to go all the way to the edge. Now we're going to garnish the uh, fruit or the brownie pizza with fruit. I'm going to put blueberries in the corner and we'll try to make it look as much like a flag as you can with it being round. But we'll just start with a little rectangular corner here. I finished with the blueberries and now I'll start lining berries up like stripes. Let them overlap each other a little. Once you finish with your berries, your dish is done, and this is the end result.
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to look for more from the Swanee River Regional Library in the future.